Hi, this is Father Stefan Yap with a reflection on the Guardian Angels. Today, October 2nd, is the memorial of the Guardian Angels. And a Guardian Angel is an angel who has been assigned to protect a particular person, especially in avoiding spiritual dangers and achieving salvation. A Guardian Angel is also uh, capable of helping someone avoid physical dangers if it will help them with their salvation. Now, a Guardian Angel, like all angels, is a purely spiritual and intellectual being. They don't have bodies, but also they don't need the use of reason to come to know things like we do. The very instant an angel knows everything about the nature of, of a thing, the moment, the very instant that it comes to their mind. So our guardian angel who has been assigned to be attentive to us and to guard us knows everything about us. Our guardian angel is assigned to us the moment of our conception, whether we were baptized or not, or whether we were born or not, for that matter. This is a guardian angel who is beside us at all times to protect and shepherd us through life. It's quite interesting, though, that as we grow up, we tend to forget about our guardian angel. As children, we're fascinated by angels. And the guardian angel prayer is probably one of the first prayers that we learn after the sign of the cross, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be. But how often do we forget our guardian angel? I know for myself, it is true. In high school and college, I didn't really know much or really pray with my guardian angel wasn't until the end of college and before entering seminary that I returned back to my devotion to the angels and to my guardian angel. Guardian angel tends to be the unsung hero in our lives, in the background, ensuring that everything is okay, that we can keep moving towards God. But again, our guardian angel is beside us and with us always. Our guardian angel is first and foremost, a messenger. From God. God is able to send messages to us with the help of our guardian angel and is our guardian angel who brings our prayers and petitions before God and his heavenly throne. But there's something very interesting that we can do with our guardian angel. Throughout the history of the church there have been many saints who have been known to have a very close relationship with their guardian angel. And they would send their guardian angel to particular people throughout the world who are in need. Why can't we do the same? Is there someone in your life that you may know who is having a difficult time? Maybe going through a serious surgery soon or may just be completely isolated right now during the time of coronavirus? Or maybe someone who needs a reminder about the faith. We are able to send our guardian angel to them in an instant. Remember, angels don't have bodies. They don't have to travel far distances like we do. In an instant, our guardian angel is able to be at anyone's side if we ask them to. It is our guardian angel who will guide our souls to the judgment seat of God the moment of our death. It is our guardian angel who will protect our soul from any last minute attacks from Satan. Let's not make that moment our first instant of talking with them. God bless you.